y'all. Welcome back to Shauna Ray cooking and cleaning for busy moms. Today we are going to be literally cleaning every single one of my household appliances. It's going to start off with my washing machine. We're also going to touch on my dishwasher, my coffee maker, my microwave, my oven, and last but not least my refrigerator. We're going to hit all of them today and I'm going to share with you guys how I clean my household appliances. I'm going to give you both natural versions and more chemically versions. Whichever one you choose, I like both methods, I do a mixture, so I'm gonna be sharing with you all those methods. It's a kind of a long video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it and share with you guys exactly how I clean all of my appliances, but I will leave timestamps in the description box down below, letting you know when each appliance starts. That way, if you're looking for a specific appliance, you can go ahead and just jump to that timestamp. Let's go ahead and get started. And since becoming a mom, I, it literally is like I found my purpose. Um. So we're going to get started here with my washing machine. I'm going to be using this OxyClean washing machine powder. I switch up the way I clean my washing machine. Sometimes I'll use this. This is what I currently have. There's also a Clorox one that's like a liquid that I really like. Um, and I'll use that quite often. Or sometimes I'll just use plain old vinegar and that works really well as well. But I'm just following the instructions on the back of this OxyClean one. Basically just says to dump it into your washer and then turn your washer onto your clean cycle, which is what I did. And then I'm just gonna let that run a normal clean cycle until it's all done. Later on that night when it was done, I went ahead and took a rag and some multi-purpose cleaner, which is what I have mixed together in this measuring cup. I just had to, some concentrated stuff that I mixed together. And I'm just wiping down my entire machine. So I wiped off the top, which was pretty dusty. I'm gonna open up the dispenser. I'm gonna wipe any gunk or anything, any residue that's in here out. Just make sure it's all wiped down. Wipe the front of it down, wipe the door wipe the sides of the machine down. I do like when I'm doing the door of my, or like the inside door area of my washer, I like to make sure I'm getting all around the rubber gussets. So as far, as far as I can, I'll stick my towel inside of there and rub all that out. Cause sometimes some debris and stuff gets kind of stuck in there. And then just wipe the door, the glass, every little nook, nook and cranny down as best I can. And that's it for the washing machine. It's pretty simple. I just run a cycle and then wipe everything down and get any dust or residue off of it. So now moving on to my dishwasher. I have a couple different ways that I'll do my dishwasher, but the first thing I always do is get any debris or anything that's in the bottom out. So I'll just take like a paper towel or something and just get any debris that's down there out of the dishwasher. And then sometimes I will sprinkle baking soda all over my dishwasher and do a baking soda cycle first, and then I'll follow it up with a vinegar cycle. But today I'm just doing a vinegar cycle. So basically I'm gonna pour about a cup of vinegar into a measuring cup, stick that on the top rack of my dishwasher, and then let that just run through a normal cycle and clean out my dishwasher. Once the cycle is done running, I'm gonna open it up and now I'm gonna take my, just a rag, and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe around the outer edges and anything, anywhere where I see some gunk. So there was like a little like rust spot or something on my dishwasher, so I went ahead and wiped that off. I just went all around the edges. There was some stuff stuck on there, so I did grab a scraper that I have and just kind of scrape. It was like a dried up dish soap up there. I just grabbed a scraper and scraped that out a little bit. And then I did also grab a multi-purpose cleaner and just use that to kind of get around the edges of my dishwasher and um, just make sure that any spots that were left got cleaned off. And then for the outside of the washer, I am dishwasher, I am gonna be using this Lysol multi-purpose cleaner. This is the same stuff I used on my washing machine. I just mixed that with some water as per the instructions and then wiped down the entire outside of my dishwasher with that and just like right on the inside as well. Next up, we are gonna hit up this microwave, which as you can tell is pretty nasty and has quite a lot of gunk on it. So for my microwave, I am gonna be cleaning it with vinegar, just like I do with my dishwasher, just like I do with my washer quite often. Basically, I'm gonna take just a little bit of vinegar, I'm gonna put it in a microwave safe container. For here, I'm just using a bowl. 
and stick that in the microwave and I'm gonna microwave this for about two minutes. Once the two minutes is up, I am then gonna let it sit in my microwave for an additional five minutes to let the steam and everything penetrate through all of the gunk. After that, you saw me just go ahead and remove the bowl of vinegar and then I'm also going to remove like the tray from inside. And then I'm just able to easily wipe everything off with a rag. It comes off super, super easy because of the vinegar. The vinegar just kind of helped loosen everything up and now I'm just able to literally just wipe it all off with a dry rag, which is really nice. If I did come across anything that was a little stuck on, I just dipped my rag in the little bowl of warm vinegar that I still had sitting next to me and I used that to just finish wiping things off. and also wiped off the tray. Sometimes I'll just throw this in the dishwasher. Sometimes I'll just wash it with soap. It wasn't too bad today though, so I just washed it with a little bit of this vinegar, wiped it off real quick, and then stuck it back up. And then for the outside, sometimes I'll use a multi-purpose spray, but since I have the vinegar right here, I just went ahead and also got a little bit more vinegar on my cloth and then just wiped down the outside of the microwave. It wasn't too bad. The outside of the microwave gets wiped down pretty much any time I'm cleaning the kitchen, so it was pretty good. <laughs> I did go ahead and take off this filter that's underneath my microwave though since my microwave is directly above my stove and I am going to clean that. To clean that, it wasn't too bad but I am just going to stick it in the sink with some soap, some hot soapy water and let that sit pretty much overnight. I, this time I just let it sit overnight and then I cleaned it the next morning. So mine really wasn't that dirty. I clean mine about every six months, and for some reason mine just doesn't get a whole lot of buildup on it, so it wasn't too bad. It didn't take me long to clean. If you want to see a really good before and after, go and check out my friend Carolyn over at Contemporary Mama. She did a kitchen like major spring cleaning video recently. I'll leave it linked down below, and she had a really, really good before and after of this little vent fan filter thing. After I put the filter back up, that is it for my microwave and it is all done with my spring cleaning 2020 edition. Next up, we are gonna be tackling my coffee maker. Now, I don't know about y'all, but we drink coffee basically every day, so it needs to be cleaned occasionally. I'm gonna be using vinegar again for this. I'm gonna be doing about three to four cups of vinegar and then I'm gonna be filling up my coffee pot the rest of the way with water. So about three to four cups of vinegar. I think it ended up being about six cups total of water. And I'm just going to put that all into my coffee maker and then run a normal cycle. So I'm just going to hit brew and just run a normal cycle and let it run. Once it's done completely with the vinegar water cycle, I'm just going to go ahead and dump all that out. And then I'm going to run two more cycles with just plain hot water. And this will help just rinse out any of the leftover vinegar in the coffee maker. Once that's all done, I'm going to take everything apart and then I'm just going to take a dry cloth. I'm going to get a little bit of this Lysol multi-purpose cleaner on it. And then I'm just going to wipe everything down. The sides, the inside, every spot where I can reach, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down with this. And now my coffee pot is ready for some fresh coffee in the morning. Next up we have my refrigerator and I always try to do my refrigerator when it's pretty empty but I'm just going to take everything out. I'm going to throw away anything that's basically empty or expired and then I'm just going to wipe everything down. I'm going to wipe the fridge down with my Jaws kitchen cleaner and then I end up wiping the freezer down with just a mixture of vinegar and water. Oh God, I miss when we were one. 
On the actual inside of my fridge, I do a couple of different ways. Today, I'm just wiping most of the things down and then like the drawers at the bottom, I'm gonna take out and wash in the sink. But a lot of times I will take all of the like um, shelves out and wash them in the sink with soap and water. This time though, they were pretty clean. So I just wiped them down with the Jaws cleaner and then I just took the bottom ones out that were really dirty. And then I used a little scrubber to get like underneath these little tracks where there was some stuff that had spilled. And I forgot to film me putting everything back in the freezer, but I just loaded it back up and then that's it. My fridge and freezer were pretty clean. Now we're gonna be moving on to my oven. I'm gonna be using this Easy Off Fume Free Spray for my oven. It's like an oven cleaner. If you want a more natural way with vinegar and baking soda, I do have that on my channel. I will leave it listed in the description box down below or linked above in the cards. But this time I had a few areas that were just really caked on there that I haven't been able to get off with baking soda and vinegar. So I am gonna be using this Easy Off and giving this a try. I am just reading the instructions. I'm gonna follow those. My instructions say to go ahead and spray this on your oven and let it sit for at least two hours or overnight. I decided to go ahead and leave it and let it sit overnight. Now this does say it's fume free. I will tell you right now, it was not fume free. It definitely had a very strong like chemically scent. Um, I ended up having to cover my face with my shirt for quite a while while I was doing this and spraying it on and then opening windows up to let it air out. But I did just go ahead and spray this on a pretty heavy coat and then just let it sit in my oven overnight. And then in the morning we will scrub it off. After letting that sit all night, I am gonna go ahead and get it. I got up early this morning and I went ahead and cleaned it out before I had to get busy on work. So what I'm gonna use to clean it out is I'm gonna use this little scraper that I used a little bit on my dishwasher, just a clean microfiber cloth and then a scrubber pad. And I'm gonna use those and just scrub all of this out. I'm starting with the door so that way if I need to lean on it a little bit to scrub out the inside, it's not all covered in this junk. But I'm just gonna scrub that with this. This came off really simple. It was really easy and quick. It wasn't that dirty to begin with. So I'm just gonna scrub it quickly with my little scrubber and then wipe it down with a wet microfiber cloth. Now I'm gonna take this little scraper that I have and I'm gonna start scraping off some of this gunk on the inside. These little scrapers that I'm using are actually made for cast iron skillets. I have them linked in my Amazon shop, which is linked in the description box down below underneath my um, cleaning section on my Amazon shop. All of my favorite cleaning supplies are linked there if you're ever curious about that. But I'm just using this little scrubber, scraper I guess, and just scraping off all this like black gunk on here. Luckily, it actually came off pretty easy. I was pretty impressed, especially once I get to the back. You can see those are large, large chunks of just like black gunk back there, and they came off pretty darn easy. I was really happy, especially this side. Just like look at all that, just like peel off. Like look at that, it's just like peeling off. I was very, very happy with that. Now, if you get queasy easy, cover your eyes because I'm about to just show you all of this gunk that came off of there. Someone told me this ain't love. There's no way you get into my heart. Someone told me gotta move on. Keep it together for you fall apart. And then this is where I ended up realizing I had cut my hand pretty bad at some point and had a pretty big gash on my finger. So I went and treated that, put some Neosporin on it, a band-aid, and then I decided to cover my hand with a glove while I finished so that the, none of this gre like degreaser stuff got into the cut.
Once I was done scrubbing everything really good, I just took a wet microfiber cloth and made sure everything was really wiped down. I wanted to make sure none of the degreaser or none of those chemicals were still inside of my oven. Just wiped it all down really, really well. So cleaning the inside of it out took about 45 minutes. It is not perfect, but it is so much better than it was. And I'm extremely, extremely happy with how the inside of it turned out. Now for the racks, I'm just also gonna use this Easy Off spray. I'm gonna spray it on here and leave it on for about five minutes. And I'm gonna come back and just gently try to wipe off as much as I can. I don't care if these are perfect. I'm not in the mood to sit here and scrub each little individual bar. So I'm just gonna scrub them off as best I can and then rinse them and wash them off and stick them back in the oven. Now next up, we are gonna work on my stove top. So this has just a bunch of food from cooking on it. I went ahead and took all the drip pans out and then I'm gonna use my Method Heavy Duty Degreaser on the top of this. And then if you did not know, the top of your electric oven actually opens up so you can get like underneath where your drip pans are. So I'm gonna open that up and get down there as well and just use the Heavy Duty Method Degreaser on that as well. Now with my drip pans, I'm not gonna work too hard to get those clean. I'm literally just gonna kind of rinse them out and make sure there's no debris left in them because I am planning on getting new drip pans here in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna be getting porcelain ones so they don't get so discolored so quickly. I'm just using a scrubber and scrubbing this. I'm gonna scrub down here and then I'm also gonna scrub the top part with the same scrubber and then just wipe it out with a microfiber cloth. gonna go ahead and return the drip pans and the electric coils to the stove and then I'm gonna pull the stove out and clean behind it and this this was gross you guys this was just nasty city back here so much dust and food and debris so I went ahead and took my Dyson vacuum and went ahead and vacuumed out as best I could back here and then whatever I couldn't get with my vacuum I did take a broom and get that out as well And then I also just quickly took my Swiffer Wet Jet and mopped up the floor a little bit. I didn't want to break out my actual mop, so I just used the Swiffer Wet Jet to get it as clean as possible, um, trying to go around the cord as best I could. And then while I had that pulled out, I tried to wipe down the sides of my cabinets as best I could. There was some grease and just like stuck on food on the sides of these. I could not get all the way to the bottom, so there is still some dust and stuff down there, but I at least got most of like the grease and the food off of them, off of both sides. And then I also had to go ahead and clean off this side of my stove because that is nasty. So I just took my degreaser because it was it was a lot of grease. It was really greasy. And I don't I did both sides and I just let it sit for a few minutes and then I went ahead and wiped it off with a microfiber cloth. This felt so good to get clean. I'm so happy with how my oven, my stove, everything turned out. I'm so glad to have gotten behind it and cleaned that out because I'm gonna be honest, that's like a first in three years since we moved into this house. It's been about two and a half years and I have not cleaned back there. So I'm just happy to have it all clean and fresh and ready to be cooked in now. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. It's a quick and easy way you can help me out and it'll make sure that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.